Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and one of my pyrotechnique videos. I'm actually planning to make a series for this topic due to the increased availability of electrical ignition means to av available to consumers. We're starting the series off with shells, then e-match to visco, then e-matching cakes, and e-matching fountains. If you guys have any suggestion of other things to e-match, let me know, um, always, but these seem to be the most common things to e-match. First and foremost, you always leave the shroud on. There have been a couple pyro YouTubers that have advised on taking the match head out of the shroud, and that is not the industry accepted safe way of doing this. So don't. End of argument. You're welcome to discuss it in the comments, but just leave the shroud on. Um, although the initiators I am using are consumer legal and considered a lower risk for friction or shock ignition, always treat them the same as professional e-match. Although professional e-match is a much lower risk than it used to be, the risk still exists. The shroud stays on. So we're going to e-match a shell first. Whether it's a canister shell, a reloadable comet, or a ball shell, there won't be any real difference. For the canister shell, I'm going to unfold the leader, or actually you can leave this uh, leave it be uh, find out where feel and find out where it goes into the shell and pull it straight out from there if it doesn't come out early um, or come out easily it might be glued in or tied in and not inside to hold to maintain make sure that it stays in um, you can also cut through the leader right about here um, and leave the stub of the fuse holding in there it'll plug the hole and that way no, none of the powder comes out um, go to the side opposite of the label and this is just so you can read the label later when you're putting your show together. We're gonna take your razor knife and cut into the paper right here. Fold it back. Drop the e-match in. Shroud and all, as you can see. Fold it over. Or actually, initiator but technicalities and tape it up now while I'm working on this you don't want to just widen the hole and slide the whole shroud into where the fuse went in there's a possibility that it could catch on the shell and prevent it either from going to its full height it could yank on your equipment um, or worse or pretty much those are the two worst things that it could happen either way it's not a good situation once we have that we're going to pull a little bit more of the e-match out. We're dropping this straight into the tube. We're going to pull a little bit more material out. Dropping this in the space between the tube. Bring it back up. Bring it around over here. And we're going to wrap it around a nail that I've drilled into the end board. And this is what we call, this is for line relief. Between properly putting the squib or putting the e-match into the end of the shell and securing it from here and from here there's no chance that the um, no chance that the wire is going to yank on your firing system and cause any damage so this is the easy snag proof method um, to do so here's option B say you're planning to light up a string of shells like we've already been we've already set up here either take your razor knife or take a set of anvil cutters and you're going to split just cut it in half and then fold it back why the reason we're doing this is we want as much black powder or uh, powder exposed from the fuse right here take just a tiny little bit of tape and we're just gonna hold it back just fold it back and take make sure to leave the shroud on take a small piece of tape lay one this on one side lay the shroud at the other directly pointing toward that exposed fuse or exposed black powder core fold it over go you can even tuck this whole part into the into the tube here wrap it around the wire or wrap it around I'm sorry wrap it around the screw go ahead chain into your system and you're set to go um, 
We're going to be using this technique later on to light fountains as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. And I'm also going to go over the new initiators that have the Visco ignition uh, right from um, that's built in, which is even easier to use. Thank you again, and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, put them in the comments. Thanks. Bye.